Hey everyone, it's Bo Beatty. We're here just here at the Long Ranch, aka our house, <laughs> and we're starting our hunting camping trip. So uh, Wade's in the bathtub, Kirsten's blow drying her hair, and I'm packing the gear and equipment. We we're supposed to be on the road um, about 31 minutes ago. It's going to be another hour before we're on the road, probably, but that's okay. I'm gonna have some tea here, and oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, the muffins were. I know, but the timer went off, and I hollered at you. <laughs> I was like, "She can't hear me." No, it's okay. I think they're fine. They'll taste fine, won't they? Yeah, they're made with olive oil, so they brown different than vegetable oil. They'll yeah. just be a little gooey. Okay. I like them like I'm that. I'm giving an introduction here. Okay. Pearson's never deer hunted before. She's never shot a deer before. And kind of with all the craziness that's gone on in her life, Kirsten decided that she kind of wants to learn how to hunt. And so this is gonna be a hunt for her. I'll try to be as educational as possible. And Marcus is along, our good friend Marcus, to film the hunt so that, yeah, we can remember it and share the journey with you guys. So today's packing up and getting on the road. We're taking seven llamas our little Toyota Tundra and a trailer. The three of us are gonna go and Wade's coming along with us, so that's a new thing for us. So we's, we've gone camping with Wade, but we've never done you know, like a four or five day back country camping trip with Wade. He's in there just singing to himself <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> He's gonna ride one of our llamas in. So last night we fitted the llama saddle, made sure that works. And uh, yeah, so a lot of new firsts for us. Kirsten hunting deer for the first time, trying to harvest her first deer, camping together in the back country, first time um, with Wade deep in the back country, so yeah. Just, Recipe for success. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> wish us luck, and yeah, we're just gonna keep packing up here and talk to you guys in a minute here. I'm gonna go Hi. hunt deer, and mom's gonna go hunt deer. What are you gonna do? <laughs> are you coming along? Are you staying, are you holding down the fort? You're staying here? No. I'm coming with Dad and Mom <laughs> and you. Heck yeah. So this, quit staring at me like that. <laughs> tell them, tell them. Um, so I've always had kind of a gap between I like to eat meat and I uh, am totally cool like cutting up our meat in the fall. And I don't really have any problems with bow hunting. Um, however, there's this like gap I'm trying to bridge of hunting myself, like shooting it and then cutting it up and doing like the whole circle. So I'm trying to close that gap and see if it's something that I'm okay with. I'm a little squeamish, so we're gonna ease into it. I was like, Bo, I just don't need to see all of the guts. Like I don't, I don't need to rip the heart out of the chest and eat it the first time probably. So um, we're gonna, he said that there's a way that we can kind of like do it a little more, uh, uh, I don't know the right words, like le less gross <laughs> at first. So he's gonna show me that. And then if that goes well, we have a couple more hunts planned for this year. So we're hoping for good things. And that's even if we get anything. We've got a toddler with us. And it's my first hunt and he's never been back country hunting at all. Um, so, and. I don't know. I didn't know how to do all of it, filming myself and hunting myself and taking care of the three-year-old, so I'm really glad that we've got, got a camera guy here today. That'll make it easier, but it's gonna be exciting. So we're gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. That, that's my plan. And Bo is gonna be impatient the entire week. <laughs> it's gonna drive him crazy. So this will be a, a good learning experience for all of us. Okay, look at her. I need these real quick. Okay, you put it in the bucket. Say, so let's do it. I got in there and have a ride. You're gonna go in there and have a ride? Yes. I don't think we're gonna <laughs> go for a ride, you little critter. What are you doing? I just, I'm just thinking about it. Oh, all the sticks came with this. Oh, you wanna ride in a llama like that? Yeah. No, no. Why? 
because you gotta go on a saddle. What happens if you get tipped out like this? Woo! Or woo! Like that. I need to get out. Okay. Hop out, little critter. Are we leaving? We are leaving. Right on schedule, babe. No, we're right not on even, time. <laughs> not even close. We just have to plan. Just have to plan that we're gonna be late all week. Wade, you ready to go? Yeah. Give me knuckles. You got strawberries in your raspberries. Love you. Okay, well, when we're on the highway, the trip is official. We're on the highway. Not on the trailer's not yet. Now okay, we're on the highway. now we're on the highway. It's official. Bye, Llama Land! I think we should establish right now that we have no expectation for timeline. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna just go out. Mentally, I definitely still do, but... Yeah, you're gonna have to get rid of that because you're with a three-year-old and your wife. Outwardly wired. verbal expression, no expectation. <laughs> Inwardly, still on a tight schedule. Still on a tight schedule. <laughs> on Oliver and falls out. Yeah, we'll just let him sleep. We'll While we get everything done. loaded. Okay, so the goal, let's get the llamas out. Okay. And then we will get the gear out. Done more prep. I did no prep. Hey, here I am, Skeppy. This time. Should I bring Oliver over here? Yeah, I'll get Oliver and bring him over here. You can climb right on. Him. Can I get a high five? Nope. Not yet. Too grippy. Okay. Yeah, I'll just come around and follow you. Or are we going this way?
the top. Lucas, the scare, scare screen scared you so be quiet for the deer. <gasps> we have to be quiet so we don't scare the deer. Yes. Well, this has reminded me of how long it's been since I've been hiking. Oh, I have to be quiet. The deer will hear us, says Wade. It's been a very long time since I've gone hiking. My only exercise that I've been doing is hauling around my 40 pound kids, so that, that's been helpful. But getting my ankles and my hips moving is not as I suspected. <laughs> the last time I went hiking I was, had not had any children. So it's been a minute. Wade and I's first hiking trip together, his first hiking trip ever. We're gonna just try to make it to the top. <laughs> Okay, listen so you can learn too. So you see how much cooler it is right here yeah. than where we've been hiking? This is the first real north facing slope. And see how we got a lot of, um, we got three different main species of trees. Um, but predominantly we have pine trees right here. So you feel how much cooler it is, but also watch, watch the undergrowth underneath there. See how much, see you get still got blades of grass that are green and coming up through different brush and trees mm -hmm. and then you still got you got moss coming up off the rocks here yeah. so as we turn around and go to this other face here in a second notice how much drier it is how there's no green grass at all so the deer oh, how they it is. like the north faces especially right now it's a super super dry season oh. so we're going to spend most of the time bedded on this stuff and we should see them in the mornings go into it and the evenings come out of it and they spend all day in there spend most why of the day why don't they sleep there they do Oh. They will. And a lot of one of the things to go out to find water. that I'm expecting is for the deer to timber up most of the day and most of the night. Just because it's so hot and it's so dry over welts that they're going to spend most of their time in these nice um, timber thickets. Okay. And so we'll be glassing into them a lot and watching the outskirts of them a lot, looking for trail, deer trails that have been beaten in going in and out of the timber patches, especially on the north slope. So we're going to be camped on a south slope but we'll be glassing on a north slope and the sun will be coming from the east over to the west and so we'll be able to glass the gauntlet the whole day without the sun affecting us. So that's why we're gonna camp where we're gonna camp. Okay. Well we just got to camp. It's exactly four o'clock so we've got a good good three hours of getting things set up, taking our time and trying to glass. Right up there is where we usually see the bucks. So we're camped pretty close to them, about a mile, mile and a half away, it's not too bad. This spot over here is really good, but it's far shooting, long shooting. So we're trying to, we hope to see the bucks up here. And we have to go to the other, other basins, we'll definitely do that. It's quite a climb to get over there, but we have some good hunting on the other side here, back behind us, so. All the llamas, we just got all the saddles off, all the gear dumped. When you're packing llamas, you just get to camp and boom, just dump everything. And now we're gonna start organizing it, get a spot set up for our tent. Wade and Kirsten are having a Wade moment over there. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get our tent up, get some wood, and uh, which we have some dead wood here, which is really nice. And then we're gonna string out the llamas. We're gonna put them on the north slope here, just because it's nice and cool. And, we actually don't have any stakes or any picket lines, so we're going to do uh, uh, take a piece of rope, tie it between two trees. There is some fresh sign up here. Not a ton, but about what we'd expect, so not too bad. It's really, really dry, but we've got mahogany, got nice, uh, you know, alpine up there. We've got some old burns, some beetle kill. Um, you know, and just there's so much vegetation that the deer love up here, so the llamas will do really well eating up here, and we pack enough water in for five days, so we'll get camp set up, and hopefully last a little bit tonight, it'll be great. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to work. Just don't hit yourself. Okay. I 
did. <laughs> Wanna trade me? Yeah. Okay, you hold the rope. Thanks. Start grooting up and down, up and down, and just keep moving a little bit, just a binoculars length to your left every time. And as you do that, um, I typically like go, like to go from the top to the mm -hmm. bottom. I can see, I seem to see stuff there that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna kind of like quick hot, hot shot, and that's what I call it. It's just because we just got here, we want to see what's going on in the area. So we're just gonna quickly glass all the prime spots in a 360 degree radius. session. Found one deer, Marcus found it, and Kirsten found about a dozen elk and two bulls. And I found the skunk. <laughs> it was a nice night. Wade saw about 3,000 deer, sounds like. Quite a few. Found quite a few deer. Every, every moment of the night he was finding deer. It's been a great night. Beautiful sunset. Very, very hot day. It looks like we've got a couple days of cold weather coming in, which I think really help give us a little better evening hunting. So we're gonna go back, collect some firewood, keep Kirsten and Wade warm, and eat some dinner. Yeah. Wait, this is delicious. Are you gonna share with me? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> and energetic. It's a weird combination. <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there? You little squirrel. Are you being so silly? <laughs> Where are you? Wade. <laughs> uh, nice. Time to eat. <laughs> Eating the noodles, eating the noodles. Kirsten and Wade did a great job getting in here today. The llamas were super easy going. Great crew of llamas. We had Marcus is here to help out, get his camp set up, and film this great adventure. It's like, we're here, we're enjoying it. Ate Kirsten's meal and Kirsten's cake, and a little Riley stove putting out some nice heat. I'm ready to crawl in the old fart sack and call it a night. Here's a cool man. People don't call them park sex anymore. Yeah, in the Beatty family we do. <laughs> hey, wait. You're an old soul here. You gotta teach Wade what it's called. No, it's called a <coughs> sleeping bag. Oh. Wade, you going to ready to get in your sleeping bag? <laughs> yes. You are? Awesome. You have so much energy. Do you like sleeping in the tent? Hey, my watch says I finally made my goal. Should we see how long it's been since I made my exercise goal? No. <laughs> Made it, <laughs> but it's been um, just about three and a half years now since I uh, accomplished it last. All right, folks, too big and see you in the morning. Another chocolate.